Hey everyone, um, coming back at you again. I really wanted to do the intro to this video at the beach to tie into it all, but the wind and the southerly gale that's blowing at the moment just made it impossible. I did go out and have a look, but it was just whipping so badly, it was, it, it couldn't hear it. So that's nothing new, some of you might say. This video anyway, something very special. I really, really hope that you enjoy it, that you like, subscribe, and tell all your friends about it, and even tell your enemies, tell everyone. The a big huge thanks to Shane, Paddy and Liz McMahon and uh, my father Connie of course for uh, chipping in with the fish to make this video worthwhile. Now I'm going to split it into two parts because there's so many fish that were actually caught which is, a, which is a nice change given what we've been used to lately. But just trust me when I say there'll be some, there's some special fish in these two videos. So once again I really hope you enjoy it and uh, share it around if you want to. Can't all be big rays. Come on, Paddy. Oh, a nice turn back as well. It can always depend on Paddy Mac to get you something for a video. Nice time, my Paddy. Lovely female. Gorgeous one. Cracker. Definitely up around six or seven pounds. Lovely fish. Come on, Paddy. Now, like I said, you can always depend on Paddy to get you a fish for a video. Uh, he's a junior angler, cousin of mine, and a uh, really good angler. Uh, if the football doesn't get him first, he'll surely make an Irish team. She's going the wrong way. Go back. You know what she wants you to do now? Put your hand into the water so your sleeve gets wet. That's what she wants. There you go, mate. That explains the funny bite. Wind him for a really nice tour and the tarp back there where it is. Another first for Liz, a fine uh, female tarnback ray, serious weaponry on it. Look at those spikes underneath, designed for gripping onto the ground, as you can see. Now my GoPro memory card was acting up, so I just got short clips of these ones, but some good stuff coming up in a minute. <laughs> I was wondering, so after a few missed bites, I found out the culprit. A small taupe were hammering my baits. But it was this was a very unusual little taupe. I got it in and it was very apparent that there was some very big sea lice on it, on the fins and around the head. So we removed him and got it straight back. Hey guys, back again today. Uh, a bit of fishing. Rode a couple of days ago and got some fish, but the GoPro played up. Back again, Shane's just arrived there like a bat out of hell and we're ready for action. Hey guys, we're back again. Hope you can kind of see me there now. The sun is a bit bright, but the wind is strong, so I have to hide in behind it. Um, we've just arrived back down again to Tralee Bay. Uh, Shane and Liz are here. Tide is stripping off at a crazy rate, so we've got a bit of time to get a bit of filming done. Um, Rays is the plan for today, so big baits and hopefully something special. But anyway, it's just great to be out, great to be back. Got the lucky top on for the Irish team. So hopefully 
Let's bring some luck and big, big, big fish. So guys, again, I hope you can see me with that light. Uh, I'm just going to go through what I'm using today and it's much bigger than usual. There are four O's, hoping for rays, big rays at that. Uh, I'm using a two hook flapper because you don't have to get a whole pile of distance here. The flapper is about, give it three and a half or four foot. Snoods, two foot and about a foot and a half. Um, right, as I was explaining before, my rod got pulled over by a big load of weed. Four O hooks, and I'm using pretty sizable mackerel baits today. Um, just in the hopes of getting a big ray, early taupe, anything really. Um, hopefully you avoid the dogs, but that's not going to happen. So this is the kind of size that I'm aiming for. Size bait. Try and match your bait to your hooks. Like there's no point in having a huge bait and a, a tiny hook inside in it. Because it'll get masked and lost. <clears throat> so that's a 4-0. A good uh, finger sized bait, a bit longer maybe. That's the top hook and at the bottom hook, same again. Now a thing to remember when using big baits and I have six ounce leads on as well here because there's a good flow of water is watch out for what your rod is capable of casting because if you have a five ounce um, lead I will say and a massive bait that could be up to 10 ounces that you're now casting so just be careful of that. Now I'm not casting too far today because the the weed is so or the weed is so bad and the run is so bad outside at the moment. So when I start casting, I'll drop down the size of my baits a bit or even go to one hook. So very simply, a nice mackerel bit. As I said, I don't know if the last video going to survive or not. Six ounce lead. The body is about three and a half to four feet. Snood's about a foot and a half, and the bottom one is about two foot. So, pretty simple, pretty standard, and hopefully get a ray out of it. Try to keep this out of the wind. Nice positive point by Shane, and a bit of a slack line to open it. After his exhibition of doggy catch in the last day, hopefully it's a ray. Certainly looks a bit better. As you can see, that wind is blowing a dirty, rotten, gnarly right in our face. It's no doggy this time. You can see the line straight out over. He's saying it's nice and twisted and everything. Oh, yeah, starting to head off now. Could this be the first stinger of the year? It certainly doesn't look too bad. Oh, it's a lovely fish. I don't know, but it's big. Could be a big stinger. We'll find out in a second now if it goes absolutely bananas. That looked like a stinger to me. Big, lovely side on it. It's right out in front of us here now. It's staying deep in the water. This is where you need Chris Kamara or someone for a good day. Uh... So if this is a big stinger, I'm gonna jump off the phone. Oh, it looks like a big stinger to me. Or is it a big unchelet? Oh, I see a stinger tail. Right, guys, the first stinger of the year. Just take your time anyway with it. And it's an absolute beauty. Definitely specimen, 40 pounder. I'm gonna get off the here for now. Guys, what a fish. Yeah. Yeah. 118 centimeters. 118. Just kind of hold it so it's not bent over the back or anything. 117 centimeters. 117. What a fish. What an absolute belter. So guys, there you have it. What an incredible fish. 48 pounds and change as well. Shane's personal best and an incredible fish off the shore. I really hope this is one for Liz. Get the stuff just in case. Hopefully we won't put the jinx on it. Fucking back. I'm crippled from running around the place. Oh, a stinger for a at least anyway. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! <laughs> <laughs> a little butterfly for Liz, about three or four pounds, but she's doing a really hard species hunt and there's going to be some serious competition, so it's a belt of a fish for a species hunt. Right, lads, sweating, running, fishing, uh, all action at the moment. It's hoping for this to happen. Wind has gone away north, the east wind has gone. And uh, it's turned out to not be a bad day. Panicking and everything, I don't know what I'm saying. But get back to the fish. What a fish by Shane. Absolute belter. Suspect I have a dog on here after him getting that monster. Yeah, Shane gets a 50 pound ray. And I get a dog. <laughs> the fish just keep on coming. Well done, Liz. Not a nice thorny. I just missed the top there. Just bit me off. Uh... Right. <laughs> this is fishing in Kerry. Double shots of fish. Dogs. Undulates. Unbelievable. Right, lads. Whoa, there's sweat coming out now. So Shane's just had that monster of a stinger. I've just had that little top. It's really action time. And I don't have the other trace ready to go, but you know what? Be smart to just get that ready. So I'm gonna fish with the steel bite trace and this is the way I'm baiting up. But there's gonna be no messing around. So circle hook in. Now some guys say this isn't the right way to do it, but I have to cast it so it's gotta be whipped on some way. Just hanging it off of it is how some guys say. So on with it. Just the way I use it. I've had a few fish so. Forget the breath, forgive the breathlessness and undoubted heavy breathing. But there's fish on lads. And ladies. And everything else. Spot on. Get that straight out now again. Hopefully there's more of those pop topes around. Action, action, action. Bit of action. Oh, something nice here. Oh, it's outside. See, it could be a top. I can see it now, it's gone. It's going to run right over. I just see the tail, it's straight out from us here. It's only 30 pound stews. <laughs> What's that there? Straight in front of us here. We'll do well to get a look at this now. Oh, yeah. See the top and top of the water. Yeah. Do very well to land this now with this snood. It's only a small fella, but. <laughs> Savage. Savage stuff. Look at that. I <laughs> know, oh, it's getting back. Lovely little top. Thank God for Liz spotting the rod. Nearly pulled it out of the stand. It's only about eight or nine pounds, but. Cracker. Absolute cracker. It is ready to go straight away. Ha ha ha.